Understanding Boil Over High Heat Hello, everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today, we're diving into a phrase that often pops up in cooking instructions but can be a bit confusing for those learning English, boil over high heat. We'll break down what it means and how you can use it, both in the kitchen and in your English conversations. Let's get started. When a recipe instructs you to boil over high heat, it's giving you two key pieces of information about how to cook something. First, the word boil means to heat a liquid until it reaches a temperature where it begins to change from a liquid to a gas, creating bubbles that rise to the surface and break. Second, the phrase over high heat tells you the setting your stove should be on. High heat is the highest temperature setting on your stove, which will make the water or any other liquid boil as quickly as possible. Using high heat has a few specific purposes in cooking. It can be used to quickly bring liquids to a boil, which is often necessary for cooking pasta, making broths, or starting a soup. It's also used when you need to reduce a sauce in a short amount of time, concentrating its flavors by evaporating water quickly. Understanding when and why to boil over high heat can help you become more skilled in the kitchen and in understanding English cooking terms. Let's go over some practical examples. If a recipe says to bring water to a boil over high heat, you'll turn your stove to its highest setting until the water begins to bubble vigorously. This is essential for recipes like pasta, where you need a rapid boil to cook the noodles properly. Here are a few tips. Watch your pot closely when boiling over high heat, as it can quickly go from boiling to boiling over and making a mess. Use a large enough pot to prevent spills. Adjust the heat if you see the liquid is boiling too vigorously, as different stoves have different heat outputs. And that's all there is to it. Boil over high heat is a simple phrase once you break it down, but understanding it can make a big difference in your cooking and language learning journey. We hope this video has clarified how to use this phrase and why it's important in cooking. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy cooking and learning!